had the opportunity when I was a child to travel in Europe, looking at a lot of different mechanization in the 70s, came home and realized we're 20 years before we're gonna be ready for this here based on tree canopy, tree design, and you know the, the density of, of, of orchards here in New York or across the United States. That we could become more efficient with our labor force if we're able to, the term, flow them down the row. We work at multiple elevations and we work from the ground all the way to the very top of every tree. We do not go through and do the tree in steps uh, like we don't harvest at the ground and then come back through and harvest the upper level. We capture everything with one pass. It may still be multiple picks for color, but we capture the ground to the top elevation all at one time. That gives us better quality, better organization for managing crews, better accountability for uh, quality and managing people. Every day when we go to work, we discuss how many linear feet we're gonna travel. You know, when we talk to a crew, uh, we say, are we gonna travel at 16 feet or are we gonna travel at 25 feet a minute today for the task? I get a lot of feedback from my employees. Uh, doesn't matter you know, if they're skilled or unskilled labor, we all know what we're talking about. And we can pace ourselves. We know we can meet our end goal at the end of the day of keeping our cost in line of a certain rate per acre. We're able to do that if we're flowing with a piece of equipment. From, the, from early planting to putting the trellis system in, we use the machine. Uh, putting stabilizer wires, we use the machine. Uh, training the trees uh, from year one to year five or six, depending on what we need to grow the tree, we use the machine the whole time. Um, we're hand thinning with machines, we're picking with machines, and we're dormant pruning with machines. We literally do no task anymore on our farm with a step ladder. Uh, to use a step ladder, it's, it's unpredictable of our output or our throughput daily. But we've run into many, many hurdles along the way with being mechanized. Number one, you have to introduce this to your workforce. They have to be receptive to using it. Then we needed to match employees to the machine. That's come along very nicely, but now we've realized that the one that isn't buying in on the system is the tree. It's not the machine, it's not the employee, it's the tree. The tree doesn't really like the machine because the tree doesn't allow you to get into the tree. We've taken a regular standard tall spindle tree that has been accustomed, pretty much it's become global. You know, it's uh, every part of the world is going with what they call a tall spindle. That's nice, but what we find is we have a hard time putting a man into the tree to do the work. And what that means is because the tree is straight, we have to lean into the tree to do the work and the tree is, is a nice straight tree, so it's hard for us to get in to do the work. So we've changed our concept a little bit, and we're now tipping a tree, so we actually tip it back at us a little bit. What that does is we bring the tree into us, so it's easier to get our arms into the tree, hands into the tree to do the work, but we're able to keep our body, our lower part of our body, our feet, our moving apparatus platform out of the tree so we're not damaging foliage and we're able to get in there to do our task without touching any of the tree because you've got to realize that every task we do in the orchard now is done with a moving platform you know dormant pruning early spring pruning uh, tying hand thinning and harvest you know five times we touch every tree on our farm and we're able to do it so quick each time that when you add all these time intervals together and your cost, it, it, your, your, your cost per acre of production is very, very low con, compared to the original working with a stepladder. It's a painstaking event climbing up a stepladder and then resetting the stepladder every three feet with these tall spindle trees, which is very overwhelming to growers once their tree becomes uh, uh, seven or eight feet tall where they actually have to do work on each tree. They realize right away that they have to figure out how to be more mechanized and flow through the orchard so to speak.